Hi guys, here's the second page. Um, I'm glad we got our sound back. Yay. I am so sorry, I have some crazy students in here with me. Okay, so we're gonna go from rectangular to polar. And this is gonna be the exact same things we did with um, vectors. I really do have special children. Oops, I'm squaring the five already. Okay, so 64 plus 25 and square root. Uh-oh, something did not work. Okay, 64 plus 25 square root, and we get 9.4. And then we're going to find our direction, and this is going to be the inverse tangent, exactly what we just did, y over x. If I were to graph this, this would be in quadrant 2, so we're going to add 180. I have to divided by negative 8 plus 180. Oh. And we're going to call this 148 degrees. So my final answer is 9.4 comma 148 degrees. Okay, so we're going to do this again. Square root 4 squared plus negative 6 squared. Okay. And we get 7.2. And again, inverse tangent. Now this one you want to be very careful with. Um, positive, then negative. A lot of y'all have accidentally said 180 degrees, but it really is 360. So we do want to be very, very careful with that. So negative 6 divided by 4 plus 360, 303.7 degrees. And here's the last one. Oops, square root. Negative 5 squared. And again, please make sure those parentheses are around because if you don't put parentheses around your negatives, um, you will get an error sign. Okay. Parentheses are your friend. And then inverse tangent of y over x. And we're in quadrant 3, so we're going to add 180. And I get. 234.5 degrees. So here we go. 7.2 and 303.7 degrees and 8.6 and 234.5. Okay. Now these are polar going to rectangular and these are just like those x and y equal equations we used with vectors. So negative 3 cosine 127 and negative 3 sine 127. Okay. One point eight, negative three sine one two seven, and negative two point four. So x equals eight cosine three twenty five, and y equals eight sine three twenty five. We get six point six, and eight sine three twenty five, and then negative four point six. We didn't write these in a nice format. Okay, and then 1.8 common negative 2.4. Okay, and then x equals negative 2 cosine of 249. y equals negative 2 sine of 249. Cosine 249. 0.7. Oops, I hit the wrong button. Sine 249. And I get 1.9. So. Okay, I hope this has helped. I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.